Now, so I'm going to take uh, a um, very cold seltzer bottle. Okay, replace that. Took the label off so we can see it. And uh, I'm going to show you that there's my bottle there, and it's about negative five degrees Celsius. Now, it's not freezing. Water freezes at standard temperature uh, at about zero degrees Celsius, and yet this is not freezing. The CO2 particles are clearly lowering the freezing point. They're interfering with the water trying to get to its crystal position. So what I'm going to do is shake the bottle. By shaking the bottle, what I'm creating is nucleation sites for the CO2 to gather into big molecules. And I'm going to open this up. By opening this up, my hope is that enough gas leaves to increase the what? To increase the freezing point to the point where the water starts to freeze. And you can see the ice crystals appearing. And the ice is forming. By letting the CO2 go, by letting the solute particles go, those solute particles that are getting the way, the freezing point of this mixture, which is now mostly water, some CO2 left, has increased. So you definitely see some ice forming here. And that ice is due, again, because the solute particles leaving, and by the solute particles leaving, the freezing point isn't as depressed. Notice what's popping out the top is the ice. Why? Because ice is what? Less dense than the water being formed, or at least the ice, the ice is less dense than the water, so therefore it has a greater volume, it's pushing it out. So a pretty cool demonstration. Very simply, all I'm doing is um, taking out the solute particles and the freezing point depression isn't as great. And now the water can freeze at this temperature by getting rid of the solute particles. Okay, sometimes you do this and because water solid is less dense, okay, it can actually shatter the bottle as you shake it. I haven't had that happen, but cool demo to begin with. So again, just by taking out the solute particles, the CO2 left, those particles which are not in the way of the water anymore, okay, allows the water to form its crystal positions, ice, at a certain temperature, okay? And that's an example of freezing point depression in the opposite. Taking the, free, taking the particles out, the freezing point can rise, all right? Hope that helped in certain ways.